Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Fool's Gold, where we're gonna get to work. Sorry, I <laughs> I sound a little bit tired, a little bit out of it, and that's because I am a little bit tired and a little bit out of it, but I need to play some Pokemon to recharge after socially interacting with other human beings. So, that being said, um, just wanna double check, and eh, we don't really need that money. All right, let's go. Um, haven't really done much in the last episode. Just, you know, waited a day and then moved on. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go and do Mahogany Town as a way to get Paprika and uh, Jeremy both up. Because we want to get them in, you know, good shape. And um, unless they've... It's like cursing a Bulbasaur without a bulb and it's in like a little pepper thing. Um, uh, assuming that they haven't changed around the levels in Mahogany too much, which I kind of doubt they would since they haven't like locked it off. Uh, everyone will still be in like the low 20s-ish, like the high teens, low 20s, uh, depending on who, right? So we should be able to just, uh, you know, grind up Paprika and Jeremy. We can probably evolve Jeremy, right? We can we know that we can evolve Paprika once. Those are just Apricorns, so we don't care. Um, and yeah, once Jeremy becomes useful, and once Paprika becomes useful, right? Then we'll take a look, try and take out uh, Jasmine. But it's also possible that doesn't happen, right? Because the Rocket Hideout's pretty fucking long. Uh, Mahogany Gym might take a little while just because I don't remember how the Ice Puzzle works. <laughs> um, all those sorts of things. But we're, we're gonna have a good time. Regardless, right? I did really enjoy whatever was done last episode. What with the, uh... <laughs> the very, the spooktacular uh, tumbleweed town. I thought that was pretty nicely done, honestly. I dug it. I thought it was cool. Uh, maybe try Razor Leafing? Never mind, if he's gonna minimize, right? Now, why I'm I, I'm thinking to myself, right? This is basically like one of those naval mines, right? Attached to a chain to the seafloor because it's like a, like it works like a balloon, right? Why would those minimize? Like a puffer fish, it makes sense because they like grow and shrink out, right? That's the whole point. So minimize. You know what? I can see the logic. Naval mine, not so much. Although, again, I'm not, I'm not actually that much of like a naval buff, I guess. <laughs> I'm not much into, like, naval military tech or anything, so I don't actually know much, if anything, about how naval stuff works, so maybe naval mines do do that. Hard to say. Alright, I forgot to heal, but that's fine. These guys are all going to be pretty easy. Hey, this is my secret place! That's a little weird. Get lost, you outsider! <laughs> uh... Quality writing as always. Pokemaniac Shane. And it's a neat arena, so we can probably. Mm, well, Ember should still be fine, right? A neat arena stats. At least my neat arena stats suck, so we should be able to just kind of. Right, you have Dragon Rage. Okay. Mm, this is not happening then. I'm gonna have to. Do something. Uh, if he dragon rages again, which I think he will, I have to send out Popo since he's the only one in the party right now tanky enough, right? Uh, Bertha is still on the team as of right now, but uh, we have to take Kramer along for all his HM slave stuff, right? Uh, because uh, Steve can't learn surf yet, so that's okay. Alright, we did it! Yay! We're so good. At this game, beating up a level, whatever. Okay, I'm kind of curious. What does Nidorino look like? Oh, so he's like a, is he a steel dragon? <laughs> if so, like one, then his typing is way better than Nidorino's. Um, like competitively speaking. Or maybe he, uh, what is he? Well, there's definitely steel. The double kick indicates that he might be like fighting instead of dragon. Because he didn't have, he didn't use Dragon Rage or anything like that. I don't know. Should he use your stone? What stone? 
You're working on a Pokedex? Well, you must know of some pretty rare Pokemon. May I please see it? No. After you were such a dick to me? Why would I show you anything? Pokemaniac Shane. I remember your name. What's up, hiker bro? Ah, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. I do not agree with you, but... I can see the merit in being outside. Alright, Benjamin. Let's duel. Alright. Okay, uh... You just use Razor Leaf, right? Mmm... I don't appreciate that. Why are these guys such low level, though? That's kind of weird. Because, like, the people to the west of Ecruteek, which you can get to without even fighting the gym, I feel, have higher level Pokemon than, than these guys. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I know people always say that Gen 2 has a really weird level curve. Um, and I'm not denying that because of how they dealt with the split areas of, like, either going east or west. Um... Oh, wonderful. Uh, well, if you're gonna do that, we can... I guess we can deploy Steve. We can probably tank it. Also, Paprika didn't evolve. Um, may I guess maybe they fucked with the levels, so it makes sense to introduce them at level 20. Hard to say. Hard to say, but I'm sure he'll evolve eventually, right? Right? <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, the trio. Well, I do want to see what Doug Drio looks like, so... I'll we'll have a look at him, but... Oh, he's crystals! Oh my god! Oh, oh that's so cool. Now I feel bad for ditching Keke, but also Keke was so fucking useless. I don't feel too bad. Mm. Still no rock type attacks either, so maybe it was for the best. Like I guess I could always teach him roll out, but it's not. It's not what we're looking for, right? Ga ha 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 ha! Oh, good. Paprika is evolving. Maybe I'm just stupid and didn't notice that he didn't evolve. They didn't reach 21 last time. All right. Paprika evolved into Ivysaur. Okay, he's got two little pepper things. Okay, how are your stats looking? I mean, I know that Bulbasaur has, right, the Bulbasaur line has fairly decent stats, but... Eh, you're on even footing with Remoraid. <laughs> Except you're way tankier. Eh, actually, you're pretty, I'd say you're on even footing with Kabuto. More or less, once we get you 10 levels up, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, Paprika, you're good to go. Let's try out Jeremy though. See what Jeremy looks like. Alright. And we're here. Mahogany Town. It's always. I don't know. I always thought Mahogany Town was kind of weird. I mean, it's just like this very. It's, it's like a village with one house nestled in the middle of the mountains, right? <laughs> like. Like, Blackthorn is more, like, is, is bigger, even though I feel like it's even more remote, um, right? Because Blackthorn, you have to go through, like, a treacherous icy cave, which is clearly, you know, like, not a road. Or you have to go through some... Try Rage Candy Bar. Wonder. Oh, yeah, can I get a Rage Candy Bar? I see you're new. Yeah, I'll try one. Sure. Is this at all different from the normal game? Nope. Okay. Well, thanks, buddy. I forget, do you give me something? Nope. You're just... You're just giving me the quest to go to the Red Gyarados. Okay. Uh, we did heal, right? Another side effect of being v rather tired is that I am incapable of remembering what I did 30 seconds ago, which is also why I made that comment about like, oh, why isn't Paprika evolved? Because we haven't exited the battle yet, Henry. That's okay. Hey there, buddy. I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. Like what? I can play. I can read. I can camp, because I'm a camper. 
Is it a camper? Alright. Oh, okay, yeah. Pepper okay, that looks that looks significantly less cursed. Also, ooh, it's raining. Uh okay. Cool, it's raining. Um it might have been Is it raining here in the remakes, I wonder? I mean obviously it isn't raining here in the uh original games because there are no onset weather effects, but I can't remember. Last time I played Heart Gold Soul Silver was I think two or three years ago when I made a specific point of I'm going to go out, catch Dunsparce as soon as possible, and make him my starter because I love him. Um and because in that game he has Serene Grace, right? Like you can actually do like a in game pretty easily because of the uh, headbutt tutor, right? You can do like a uh, what do you call it? Like a Serene Grace Paralysis Flinch Bullshit build. And like I don't feel bad doing it because it's just a computer and doesn't have feelings that it's, you know, being put in this awful situation. Well, at the same time, I forget, are you dark type? Shit, right. <laughs> <sighs> Should have expected that, but I am too stupid to think ahead that much. Alright, Steve. Let's get going. Oh, you just stole my... Well, I guess we'll figure out how this game handles Thief on non-player characters. It better not do what I think it's gonna fucking do and just steal my Mystic Water. Right? God, I hope not. I mean, if so, then we're just, like, resetting the fucking episode, right? And don't... I'll jump cut to getting here again, like before, so don't even worry about it, but... I will not be a happy man. I'll be very unhappy. We'll just keep Steve out. Just use Bubble Beam! Pew 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 pew. Damn. Gen 2 bubbles look nice. Like, the Gen 3 bubbles are nice, too, but I feel like... Because they've got that kind of like white color to them, they're not as transparent. It feels a little bit weird, you know? Please. Oops. Please. <sighs> Alright. We're back. Did it again. And Kramer's fine. Or not... Why did I give it to Kramer? I took the Mystic Water off of Steve so that Steve could just kick the shit out of his thieving little bastards. And then proceeded to put it on the wrong clamshell. Alright, we're back. We're, we're back in action. Let's get to work. Oh, this is a stupid toll bridge, right? Hold it there. The toll is a thousand. Ah. <sighs> I thought you had an option, but I guess not. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, it's fine, yeah. We'll have to go through this area anyways. To fight all the trainers. Who's up front? Paprika's up front. That's... Uh, that's probably fine, yeah. Get Paprika some levels. All that good stuff. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? Maybe. What say you? Brent. That's an interesting name. Do I know any Brent? I don't think so. I forget, are you rock or are you just bug? Are you pure bug or are you bug rock? Oh, or maybe you're just pure rock because you're like a rocker. I, I never remember with these things, sadly. Uh, what is it with you? Didn't I catch a Tangela, so shouldn't I know at this point? But, eh. Or maybe he's something really weird, like water bug or something, I don't know. Would you mind stopping that though? It's very annoying. Leeching my life and all. You know, leech life. You guys remember leech life before they buffed it into being an absolute monster of an attack? Right? 80 stab, 50% recovery, like that's insane. <laughs> That's insane! When Bug is supposed to be the sucky type attack. Or, su the sucky attack type. I. 
<laughs> wow, I really just fused my words at the end there. Okay. Yeah, no, we're clearly in a state to do this, because... Okay, so... <laughs> so uh, at, at, before the beginning of this, I was like, oh yeah, I need to do some, like, box stuff, because I forgot to do it earlier. So I did. And then... Went to do it, whatever, like 10 minutes in, and then we get to the... We lose the Mystic Water, I get butt mad, so we redo this. So then while I was doing box stuff again, like, for some reason, there was, like, this weird crash that happened. Um, it might just be, like, an M a Game Boy thing, um, but not really sure, but something happened. And, uh, accordingly, I had to go back and then do all the box stuff, like, for the third time. It was very not fun. Let's play! Okay, random girl, let's play. Alright. Also, sorry if you hear anything, I'm eating some pretzels. Well, I'm not sure if we have anything to deal with Wigglytuff, so we can just spam Razor Leaf. Do we have any- oh, no wait, we have Popo, but fuck it. Wigglytuff's at a low enough level that we can- Eh, never mind, we can't take him. Not if he keeps on defense curling and stuff. Uh, so, Popo, you're up, buddy. You're up! Show them that an electric- Is this supposed to be, like, an, more of, like, a bunny? Or- Okay, so, like, Wigglytuff has big, big ass ears, yeah, but- Is this supposed to be, like, an Energizer bunny reference? Because it has, like, the bunny ears and stuff? I don't know. Certainly is something. It almost reminds me of like a weird like yokai sort of thing, you know? Because it's just like a ball with a face and bunny ears. Alright, good job. Good job, Pop. I played too much! Yes, you played too much. You did not... You know... You haven't been studying your Pokémon, clearly. I do have no recollection of this berry tree being here, but it's also been a long time since I've been this far in a Gen 2 game, so. Like, I usually end up going through, like, around Jasmine and then I get bored um, and stop for one reason or another. Hey there, buddy. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear. Uh, maybe it is the gear. It might also just be, like, you know, the whole Team Rocket thing going on, right? Who knows? Marvin, that's a good name. Old name. You don't see it too much these days. Oh. Paprika can certainly deal with it. <sighs> there we go. There we go. So this should be episode number two coming out. Right? And that'll be... Ooh, we get to see what Gyarados looks like. I'm very curious. <gasps> Oh, he's like a big lamprey eel. Very nice. I do like the kind of like lamprey eel designs. I think that they're really cool with like, because they have like the, the like radially symmetric mouth. I think that's a really cool like sort of aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> I guess you might say. Uh, a really cool just like idea to go with, you know. And, like it's also why I really like um a lot of like, I was about to say designs of animals. <laughs> That's not the right word, but I like a lot of like, uh, what do you call it? Like the Cambrian explosion, I think is the term. Like the Cambrian era, where they have all these really crazy underwater life forms, like you know, like uh, like Anorith and uh, whatever it is, uh, Lilip. Those guys are both based on like Cambrian uh, era, I guess you'd say, yeah, Cambrian era um, life forms. I think that they're super cool because uh, they have like this almost like abstract sort of like look to them where like you could still see like oh yes this is clearly like something that like is designed to like live and like here's how it does all these things but like it's abstract in this sort of weird way because like yes we have five eyes on stock because that's how it goes and like yes we have one arm that's also like kind of a mouth thing like because it makes because it works like I, I, don't, I just really like it. And like the radially symmetric mouth, like it's just, it's just different. You don't see that in mammals. You don't see that in vertebrates uh, for the obvious reason. Um, but you don't, you don't see that too often. So I think it's just like, 
It's cool. I like it. Alright. Good job, Vermian. I lost, but I feel better anyway. Well, I'm glad you feel better, buddy. Kurt's Lure Ball is the best for catching hook Pokemon. Cool. Do I need to heal? I should heal. <laughs> Excuse me. I always have these terrible fits of hiccups that occur every now and then. There's just, you can't stop. Absolutely horrible. I forget, is this the right... <sighs> I never remember how this route actually goes. Uh, oh, and here's Centret here to ruin my fucking day. No, why is Paprika out front if he can't even actually fight? Because of, like, like w one of his two types of moves is shut down by the fucking rain, so we should just... We'll send out Jeremy. Uh... Is this the right way? Or is this like the maze? Oh, this is the maze part. Okay, well we should come here anyways because there might be something cool. Like a full restore. I didn't know that was there, but I suspected it would be. Um, I think a day of the week person is here, but I do not know which day, which which kid it is. So, uh, no chance of getting that right. Good thing I brought Kramer with me. And Kramer's been so useful. Not only did he save us in the fight against, uh, Pokemon could be in this tree, no. Uh, there we go, rare candy. Not only did he save us in the fight against Chuck, but he's been, he's been a real trooper, carrying me around to surf, you know, cutting down trees, smashing rocks, all these good things, whatever other moves he has. I don't think he has flash, but, uh, you know, he, he lights up my heart, so... It's all good. Alright. Uh, let's visit the house up there. Is that the Day of the Week house? No, the Day of the Week house is... Um, I'm pretty sure it's in the, the route that connects to Kanto. Oh, and it's night time. Well, I guess it is 6 o'clock now, so... I just always thought you had to wait for a... Like a screen transition for it to actually become night. But hey! This is also fine, too. Alright, what's in this house? Hey there, dude. You have strayed far. Here I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this, my child. Take this, my child. Ooh, TM. Oh, it is hidden power! It draws out the power of Pokemon before attacking. Its type and power is determined dependent on the Pokemon you use it. Oh. I have no idea how to actually verify that because all my Pokemon have gotten EVs at this point, so there's no way for me to check uh, their IVs or yeah, their IVs, and so then yeah. Oh well, I mean, we can always we can always do tests for types and stuff, but it might not be worth it. Maybe if we get a new Pokemon. Ooh, and we got that, which is Rest, I believe, or is no Rest is 42, not 43, I think. This was detect. Well, that's not very useful, but thanks, I guess. I'll take it. Uh, let's just get the hell out of here. Uh, it's gonna take a little while, but that's okay. For some reason, I seem to remember there being a flooded version of this map, but I think that was I think that was a Heart Gold Soul Silver thing they did. Or like um as part of the thing they had a flooded map for the Red Gyarados because he was flooding the map or something. <laughs> like that, right? Because of because of the constant rain or whatever. Hey there, Ledian. Well, it's a good thing I know that you or your attacks are pretty bad, so we can probably just do some side beam stuff. <laughs> oh man, you gotta really love it when the. Oh wait, I can't because you have high special defense. This is a stupid idea. Um. Yeah, wait. Why don't I switch to? Uh... I switch to Steve. Yeah, Steve can just kill him. That'll be a good move. All right, Steve. Get to work. 
scratch. Where does he get slash? Maybe when he evolves? Mmm. I don't enjoy that. But it's okay, it's a wild Pokemon, right? There's only one in four of it using that move again. <sighs> Never mind. Oh well. Nice crits on the almost dead Pokemon too. I really appreciate that, Steve. I I, I know you're trying, Steve, but it's not what we need right now, buddy. Um the point that I don't think I'm willing to heal you up. Ah, uh, he might have Thief, so I don't want to... I don't want to deal. Uh, did I already fight you? No, okay. Would you get this? Some Jimothy guy <laughs> made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great. <laughs> Good job, Jimothy. Alright, what's up, Ron? Nido Queen. I don't know, your Pokemon looks kind of funny. Not gonna lie to you, buddy. Um, but I'm also aware that your Pokemon has some very powerful moves, so... Maybe I should've just switched to Popo. Yeah, oh well. Alright, let's get to Let's grab Popo. Alright, Popo. You're up. Please kill him, or at least make some progress with respect to killing him. Man, Dragon it's such a... That's such a bullshit move at the lower levels. At least, like, Nightshade kind of scales in a way that makes sense. It's like, oh yeah, it's your level, so... You do less damage when you're weaker, and you do more damage when you're stronger. That makes sense. Dragon Rage is just 40, and he has it at 19! Imagine if I were in my early 20s, right? I mean, I am in my early 20s, but imagine if my Pokemon were in their early 20s. Um, like, <laughs> that would be such bullshit. Uh, that wasn't a Nido King, you, <laughs> you dumbass! <laughs> oh, what's up, Dana? Uh, Amanda, it's me. I'm on Route 38. If you're close by, let's battle. No, I just want you to tell me when you get presents from boys so I can have them instead. <sighs> Alright, well. This is why we have super potions. I kind of want to keep some around for the, uh, for the inevitable. Uh, we're going to have to right, punch through the fucking rocket fight. And that's going to, or through the rocket base, and that's going to take forever. I love Pokemon, that's why I started, and why I'll keep on collecting Pokemon. Well, okay, that's that's not too bad. I thought when you started with, I love Pokemon, you know, stuff was about to get weird, but then I remembered, you're not the fire red leaf green Pokemaniacs that wear the weird Pokemon cosplay. Um, are you steel type now? It looks like you might be steel type. Nope, okay. You're toughy. You're a tough one. This will take some, uh... This will take some doing. Maybe I should put po Yeah, I'll poison powder you. Ta-da! Ow. Please go easy on Jeremy. I don't think he has a single I fucking IV yet. Uh... Alright, uh... Can we get one more side beam off? Then I think uh, if we send out, um, no crits please, if we send out uh, Paprika we should be fine. Because he'll resist the electricity and then they can both get experience. Wow. Isn't that wonderful? God, I keep on going for the pretzels but I'm like, oh I shouldn't eat those because those are like really crunchy. <laughs> and like, I could probably get away with like eating a little piece of rice every now and then because you know like that's not going to show up on the capture but. Like just going for chewing a pretzel, right? There's no escape in that. Alright, good job, Paprika. Ow. Good job. You guys double teamed it. And 
Ben goes down. How could you do this to me? Do what? Beat your ass? What else do I like besides Pokemon? Mary on the radio. I bet she's cute. Well, I haven't been to the radio tower, but I'm sure that she's cute too. Um, in fact, I should probably do the radio tower thing before I forget. <laughs> in case... Actually, no. No, fuck it. It doesn't matter. I don't need her. <sighs> no, actually, wait. I do think I need a radio card because I need to hear the rocket broadcast, right? So we should probably do that. Um, yeah. Alright, well, we'll do that after we finish up the week for each year. The Magikarp house, right? I forget. Do you give me the Super Rod or is the Super Rod... Uh, I think the Super Rod is in Kanto, actually. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Hey there, girl. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados. I'm pretty sure Gyarados are in this game. If we look at him... Uh... Where the hell is he? That looks pretty red! I guess maybe brown or kind of a little greenish? But that... <laughs> it is definitely not, um... The other color. <laughs> uh, let's deploy Ermion. We'll do some good work. Uh, do you have anything important to say? The Greg Gyarados or Amy? Angry. Nope. Hey. At least your sprite is fixed, so you don't have the eyes. That makes sense. Ooh, oh, he's still red. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. I guess, yeah, he is a bit more brown than red. And that Gyarados is going to slightly wreck me, I believe, because he is very strong, and I'm not sure if I can catch him. Uh, but if we just get crits, I suppose we can catch him. Um, <laughs> I suppose we can in that case. Uh, d Nightshade won't kill you, right? Right? Nightshade should not kill you. You should have like a hundred health, so this will do less than whatever you have. Yep, I'm a genius. Now, okay. Um. Uh, we can deploy Kramer, I guess. We can start sending out other random people. Keep Popo in the reserves in case we need to put this guy down real quick. Uh. I don't think a lore ball would work because I didn't fish for you. Uh, Ultra ball, sure. <gasps> Ooh, it's golden. Nice. Yay! <laughs> that was pretty easy. Gyarados, what's up, buddy? This terrifying Pokemon normally resides in deserts, but is sometimes known to terror. <laughs> oh, it's a sandworm, got you, but it's also in the ocean. Oh, maybe it's like a water, like, ground, like, like it's, a, uh, it's also part ground type or something. Well, uh, well, um, if you're like a sandworm, uh, you can be named, you can be named Wormy, but spelled with a Y, because we're original. Alright. I might have obtained a red scale, nice. Uh, I think you can hand that to like Mr. Pokemon or, uh, or Professor Elm, one of the two. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Amanda, I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Amanda. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Okay! Excellent! It seems that the lake's magic carp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Amanda. Okay. Well. Uh. Since I have the scale, I'm gonna go and see if I can hand it over to Elm. Alright, that seems like a good call. Oh my god, I keep on going for the pretzels. Uh, Alright, hey Elm, do you care about this red scale or is it Mr. Pokemon who cares about it? 
Yeah, has that egg changed any? Uh, I can give you the egg later. All right. Elm, you don't care. You don't matter. Okay, let's go to Goldenrod so that we can get the, the uh, rocket radio broadcast right. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that it doesn't actually matter, but like, I don't know. I want to see if anything's different with the rocket broadcast versus not. Maybe the trivia thing is different. Are you a trivia lady? No. I mean, sure, whatever, you can check. Nope, none of your IDs match. Okay, as expected. Welcome. Where's... Oh, you're the radio card lady. Alright, answer five questions. Well, you know, I do like video game trivia. So let's get going. Yes. You can't buy a berry. Yes. Does HM1... No, that's cut. You dummy... Is Faulkner the violet gym leader? Yes, it's Faulkner. Wow, right again, here's the final question. Do Goldenrod Game Corner slots have Charmander? I don't remember, I think so. Ah. Ah. This is what I get for not gambling. Alright. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, okay, Golden Rod Game Corner. Oh, maybe maybe they have Squirtle and Charmander is the Celadon one. I, I don't... <sighs> Alright, thanks for the radio card. Um, while I'm here, I can also just grab a few... Uh, stock up on Super Potions, right? I kind of want to just one-shot the... Uh, Stock up on super potions and revise. We want to one-shot the rocket base. We don't want to go back outside because that's too much fucking work. It'll take too long. And it's more interesting this way. Uh, do you have revives? Or maybe not. Well, you should. Don't you have revives? Maybe this guy does. Or is he? Is this the Pokeball guy? Oh, here we are. Revive. Alright, we'll take one more of those. Boom, okay. We're more or less ready. Uh, we can also get rid of Kramer, bring uh, bring uh, Bertha with us instead. Alright. It'll be a nighttime ninja raid on the rocket base. How idyllic. You can fly to the lake? Hmm, I don't remember that. I guess you can fly to the lake of rage. All right, so Kramer's going in. Oh, yeah, they... oh, we're in the Hall of Fame. Oh, that's okay, we can drop off Kramer. Uh, grab Bertha. And I think we're done, so we can just uh, change over to box two. Yep, yep, all right. This also acts as a convenient safety save in case something really fucked up happens and they steal my shit. In fact, I think they will steal my shit, so I'm going to take everything off except for the leftovers, because the leftovers are too busted to not use. Mystic water. Helical seed. And, uh, the item storage space is full. God. We gotta fucking more menuing. Woo! Everyone knows the menuing is the most impressive part of any speed run, and since this is a speed run, this is accordingly the most impressive part of the entire playthrough. Alright, I only have one revive. Huh. Alright, let's drop it all in. Okay. All done. Take Bertha's thing. What do you have the magnet? Is that what I gave you? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you can just take that. You can heal up before I forget again. 
We can heal your Pokemon. Yes, please. Thanks, Nate. All right. Let's keep on moving. Have to go to the rocket base, right? Or Lance is going to kill a man with his Dragonite. And then move on. Dragonite Hyper Beam. <laughs> what took you, Amanda? Just as I thought, there's a strange radio signal coming from here. Oh man, we're just pushing that dude aside. The stairs are right here. Amanda, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Okay, buddy. How you feeling? You found the secret stairway. Are you dead? Ugh. My guy's dragon Pokemon are tough. Okay. And this is where... Right, shit's gonna be annoying. So... Each one of those statues, right? We hit it, and then they're gonna be... What is it, one or two grunts? I forget which it is. Come rushing up to fucking fight us. Because of course they do. I'm like, hey! Intruder, and it's always the same grunts. Drowsy up front. I'm still not sure what Drowsy is. I think he's a dragon, but not entirely sure. Who cares, though? He's level 17. Maybe he's water type. But again, just... Fucking Jeremy, you don't have enough special attack. Alright, Paprika, just kill him. Just kill him. Just. Just kill him. Just kill your opponents, right? Very John Madden advice, right? Just to defeat your opponents, you must you must kill them until they are dead. Uh, Zubat. Well, I suppose, yeah, Jeremy can take on the Zubat, and Paprika can take on the, uh, the Drowsy. Alright. You use a swift, right? Boom. You get hit. I forgot that you have confusion. I forgot that you actually have attacking moves, <laughs> Mr. Zubat. But we're just gonna kill you. Um, at least get most of the way towards killing you and then switch out. Right. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna actually write this down. It's... Drowsy, um, where's a piece of paper? Okay. okay, here we go. So we got Drowsy into Zubat is the first grunt. I think there's a second one, right? It's my turn, there's no escape. Yep, what does the second guy have? You've got Zubat, okay, so this. Drowsy, Zubat, Zubat, probably like a Raditz or something. Uh, you can just send out Bertha to just fucking kill him. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be taking damage. Spark. Alright. What is that? Oh, you have three Pokemon. Okay, Grimer. Uh, I have no idea what to expect from you, but I, just, I think Paprika is probably good enough to deal with it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why is he wearing underwear? <laughs> I don't like it. I want it to go away. Are you a, are you a dark type? Is, is that what that's supposed to represent? Uh, did I, what the hell? What the hell are you? Wait, okay, so you resist fire. You resist gra Are you a dragon? Oh, those are little dragon wings. No, I, I thought they were like bat wings. Okay. In that case, Bertha can just kill him. Maybe he's like dragon poison or something. 
Because he has that kind of like vampire thing going on. Uh, who cares? We'll just Aurora Beam. Hi. Alright. <laughs> More yawning. More yawning. I hope I was just able to make all of you guys yawn. Because that happens to me all the time. I'm like watching a watching a video or something and like the dude in it yawns and then I have to yawn, right? <laughs> uh, I guess we can just spam a bubble beam, right? Like that attack just does so much damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep appearing until you trip a secret switch. Well, we're gonna have to. I think fight. I forget how many more are mandatory, but it's a pretty big fucking number. Um, Freaka can go out front. Let's heal you. Here you go, Jeremy. Right as rain, you are. So if we go this way. Forget it. Is it down here, or do we have to go around? No, it's right over here. Oh, sweet, so we don't even have to fight more than one, because I think this is the switch. This was once a ninja hideout. There are traps to confound intruders like you. Okay, Team Rocket, working in the ninja place. Scientist Jed. Deployed Magnemite. Well, I know that Magnemite is psychic now, so I can, <laughs> yeah, I can do what I need to do. Grab a razor leaf. Eh. Why is it Mag I wonder why Magnemite isn't poison. Considering that he's basically... This incarnation of Magnemite is basically just Grimer but with one eye and no mouth. <laughs> and a little bit smaller, I guess. Uh, another Magnemite. Well, Paprika will continue to get stronger. Hmm. When does he... When does Ivysaur become Venusaur? Is... I think Ivysaur is the one that evolves late, right? He evolves at 18. What the hell do you want? Uh, oh, that doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Everything is fine. No matter how many buzzes you might hear. <sighs> oh boy, light screen. It's so much fun. Good job, buddy. So I think Ivysaur evolves at 18, right? Which means that Venusaur would evolve at 32. That makes sense to me, at least. Um, I guess we can just keep on spamming shit. Uh, yeah, reason. Uh, okay. Okay. Kind of actually frustrating. The special split is actually hurting me right now because Razor Leaf right is physical, but Paprika has I don't even, I don't even remember what his special attack is, but it is significantly higher uh, than than what the other thing is supposed to be. Actually, yeah. Okay, let me have a let's have a look at Paprika's thing. There you are. Uh. Yeah, okay, yeah, his his special attack is about 20, 20 to 25% higher. So we could be doing, theoretically, 20 to 25% da more damage if... Yeah, but well, I'm not going to get into that. Yeah, he looks pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that. Weird flare-out on his butt's a little weird, but whatever. Um... Wait. All right. Sorry about interruption number two, but my mother texted me, and so I felt as if I had to answer. And it was a longer answer, so it would have taken me a little while to type, and so I was like, eh, we can just cut that out. Alright. Uh, oh, I didn't... I don't think I actually turned it off. One second. I gotta go and touch the computer. And then... All the stupid things will turn off. Better press it. Yep, switch is turned off, sweet. 
Uh, do I need... Make him potion up paprika. Why not? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go. Potion. <sighs> Let's continue on our merry way. I have no idea how long I've been going for at this point because I've had to stop and start multiple times. Um, so that's good. Uh, but we'll we'll stop after we do mahogany, I guess. Hey, a nugget, nice. I love a free five thousand dollars sitting on the floor. Uh, I assume that's the way out. We don't want to touch that then. Uh. Is that you, Lance? Oh, it is. Yeah. Are you all right? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. I fought three people who were all ten levels below me, Lance. I think we're fine. Let's give it our best. I appreciate the heal, but now is not the time to do it. All right. Uh, we can have Paprika, but that's fine. You rotten little pest! We'll beat the shit out of you. We're Team Rocket. We're the Rocket Group. Uh, we're gonna send out a level 18 bug you can find on your on the second route in the game. This will surely lead to my victory. Oh no. Silverwind! I I thought that was a Gen 3 move, not a Gen 2. But Perhaps I was mistaken. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, now I'm actually genuinely... I, I thought that was... Okay, I might have just, like, routed my bug monotype, like, completely wrong. Um. <laughs> which I suppose is fine. But... Right, just spam Ember, right? What's the worst that could happen? Wait, maybe we crit him and he dies. Or maybe he wastes his turn doing nothing, so it's as if we critched him and then he died. That's really how you know you're doing it right. Okay. Go on, Venonet. Okay. Grr. Is there anything over here? Nope, okay. Alright, you're Rocket Grunt number two. How are you, buddy? The door won't open? Well, duh, it has to have a password that only Team Rocket knows. Oh, man. Well, I guess I'll beat the password out of you guys. Since you asked. That's what Golbat looks like. It's really weird. It's got a giant mouth. It's like the Golbat mouth size, except it's got a giant creepy eye in it. It's like a, it's like a pill with a bunch of, like, you know, spider legs or something. Mm, stop leering at me. It's very rude, you know. Uh, yeah. That's annoying. Although, probably not enough damage to worry about. Especially since I do so much fire damage. Go, Ember! <laughs> Never lucky. Oh, I guess he missed, so always lucky. Alright. Good job, Paprika. Man. Although although I think it is a bit of a cliche these days to have a go to have a fire grass pepper Pokemon. I don't know. I feel as if I, I think they did a good job because it's not literally a jalapeno pepper with eyes and and some combination of legs or arms. Like they just got Bulbasaur, kind of changed it a little bit so that's more peppery. I dig that. Um, yeah, no, there are a lot of cliches when it comes to this sort of thing. It takes two passwords to get into the boss's quarters. Those passwords are known only to a few rockets. That rocket there very graciously told me so. Um, is he alive still? Ugh, the guy in the cave is incredibly tough. Now, I always wonder... Right? Why, why are the rocket guards going like, ugh? As if, like, they, they had gotten, like, beat... 
Like fit, like they they themselves had been physically beaten up when right everything in this thing is just like a Pokemon battle, right? It's like the same way with with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Like like <laughs> like you ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh? Like if someone loses a duel uh, outside of like the first season, but even in the first season too, like people are like oh. oh. Uh, you're a real tough duelist, right? Like, Yuki's grandpa straight up gets fucking hospitalized in, like, the first or second episode or whatever because he loses a children's card game. And these guys are all like, like, ugh, like, erg, or, ugh, like, oof, like, ugh, ugh, feeling bad because they got beaten in the Pokemon battle. I don't know. Maybe it makes more sense in the alternate timeline where... Uh, trainers can actually have like attacking moves like like it is theorized that they were supposed to like I like I remember reading about this and like some people were talking about like a leaked like green demo or something um, but where the idea is that uh, I'm just keep that up there and just kill people um, the idea was that like because there are so many trainer sprites with whips like the bikers and Team Rocket and like I think Sabrina has a whip or something, right? Um, the idea was that those that was supposed to be like a trainer attack, because if you consider Pokemon as originating from Dragon Quest V, which I generally do, because I think I think DQ5 came out first, um, and it was the first kind of thing where you can catch the your, the enemies that you're being faced with. Um, but in any case. Uh, in DQ5, uh, right, it's you're, it's a more traditional RPG because, you know, you yourself are here and you have all this magic or whatever and, like, all these attacks and equipment. And so if you consider it as coming from stuff like that or, like, more traditional RPGs, you can say, well, yeah, your player character should be able to attack. And so, like, uh, you do that. And so, like, it makes sense then that all these people have whips because whips is how they attack. Although I think at some point they probably realized, hey, like, whipping animals is probably, like, a a bad thing or maybe they decided it wasn't adding enough like depth wise for it to be worth it and so then it's not it doesn't have any point right I think those are both valid uh, like conclusions I don't know like valid things to, to state oh hey dick I forgot that you were here um, tell me who is the guy in the cave who used dragon Pokemon Pokemon no match at all I don't care that I lost I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon he told me I don't love him because my Pokemon is furious to... Okay. Okay, dick. Door's closed. All oh, right, so we need two passwords in here, and then I think we... So I think I might have gone the wrong way, but that's okay. We'll explore this path fully first. Because we got rewarded! Woo! But in any case... Ooh, what is that? Uh, I was talking about... Right. So if you consider it from the, if you consider Pokemon as coming from a context of RPG of like more traditional RPGs, right? Suddenly stuff makes sense. I remember someone did an original analysis of like the of the hypothesis of like the green beta that that got leaked. I think at some point a couple of years ago now was it? Though I can't quite remember anymore. Um, where. Right, Viridian Gym was like it was. That was actually the first gym, right? And you went and you fought a Bug type trainer, and like, uh, I think that's how it was. Or I might be I might be conflating that with like fan theories, uh, because there was a green demo, and I do remember it had a lot of different things. Like uh, for one, I think what was it Jasmine was, or not Jasmine? What the fuck is it? Uh, er Erica, right? Was in. Um, was not in Celadon, she was in uh, the uh, Lavender Town and had a ghost thing and like there's certain things with her design that reflect this, right? Like because she's wearing her yukata in the way that you would dress up a dead person, not someone who's alive and like all these like weird like subtle details indicating that way. Um, but I remember uh, it, like the game makes a lot more sense from like a sort of design perspective so let's let's go with the Viridian gym so the Viridian gym thing is just to introduce you to the gym thing and to show you that like intr introduce you to the concept of Pokemon evolving that makes sense right and then you go out through Viridian forest whatever and you 
arrive at Brock. And Brock teaches you that you can't just spam tackle, right? You need to actually know how types work. And Misty teaches you, hey, you need to know how to actually deal with someone who has a fast Pokemon that can actually do damage, right? Because Brock didn't... Brock never, like, threatened killing you, like, quickly. Like, he was just like, oh, yeah, you can't kill my guy, so... So, you know, suck it. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of how that works. And then the rest kind of falls in place. Like, Lieutenant Surge is Lieutenant Surge. Then you have uh, Erica as the ghost gym leader, right? And, like, that's kind of... I, I know, like, it's just... I feel like it makes more sense. Um, I think there's also other stuff... Uh, showing that Erica was probably intended to be ghost at first including ideas or include, like I think people like did like data values or like you know they like were like data mining games and those hey like the Oddish and Bellsprout lines were added pretty late into development compared to like the rest of the Pokemon that's kind of interesting I meant that originally there weren't enough grass type Pokemon and then probably when they switched Erica to be a grass type gym leader instead of a ghost type gym leader for whatever reason um, they were like, oh, like, we don't have enough grass types, let's make a couple more, you know. Um, but, like, stuff like that suddenly starts to make sense. Uh, and then, uh, like, the Elite Four makes sense <laughs> in that game, too, because, all right, you have... I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by your experiment. Okay, dick. Um, right, you have Lorelei, who is, like... So, we have to consider the Pokemon types as, right, originating from something... Oh, good job. Oh, oh, good. Good job, dev team. Oh, yes, Sharpen. Yes. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's so good. All right, I apologize. What was I talking about? All right, so let's start by considering, um, right, Pokemon, the Pokemon typing system as coming from more traditional, like, RPG elements, right? And so, like, fire, water, grass, that kind of makes sense, like, you know, water, earth, fire, um, wood, right? So, like, the elements generally, right, in RPGs and stuff like this are, like, water, water, fire, air, wood, um, is usually an, an element that they differentiate between earth and a lot of, like, eastern stuff. Um, uh, earth, uh, then there's also, right, like, Stuff like uh, lightning. Um, what am I thinking of? Uh, lightning, I think, is like the other like major elemental type, right? Like uh, you have like ice as a thing that's supposed to be kind of like more of like an exotic like water stuff like that. And so then you can immediately see, okay, yeah, we have fire types, we have water types, we have grass types, which are basically wood, and you have uh, earth, which gets subdivided into rock and ground for uh, some reason. I forget. I can't think to myself why. It might have to do with, like, Brock or something. I don't fucking know. Um, but then, you know, like, electric is lightning, so on and so forth. Then you get to normal, which is make, kind of make It makes sense why that's a thing, right? It's just a standard, like, type on its own. I forget. Did I get the password from this guy? Yuck, yuck, yuck. The password to the boss's room. Uh, I think it's Eradicate Tail. Okay. Coolio. And so then... You start seeing some different uh, because air is like flying, but there's also there's also bird at some point to differentiate because they probably thought Pokemon is also you know about animals, so there needs to be a bird type or there needs to be a bug type, um, you know stuff like that. Um, then you have the supernatural things, right? You want to have a uh, you want to have like a fighting type as like kind of like a hero type that. That's a bit stronger than, like, nor that's basically normal, but stronger or better. Uh, Elementals-wise, we can switch over to Jeremy to deal with this. And then uh, you have Ghost, which is the counter to Psychic, right? And, like, Psychic kind of makes sense as, like, like being, like, your quote-unquote magic type, right? Like, like, you know, it's like having, like, like force damage in D&D in &D or something, right? Like, that's just, like, magic. Or like a, like that's psych, that psionic force or whatever. And so, if we consider the connections between Pokemon types, 
and like traditional like RPG elements, we see the Elite Force only makes a lot of sense, right? The first one is like ice or like deep sea, which is like a pretty like rare exotic sort of type that is generally associated with being stronger, right? Like, you know, like Leviathans and stuff like that. And the next one is fighting type, which is the hero type, which is not represented in the gym leaders. And so it makes sense because he's like, you know, kind of like you in a way. Then Agatha, originally, <laughs> original. I forgot to see what he has. Um, what the fuck? Uh, oh god, that's bad. Let me. Uh, what the? What the fuck? I, why are you coming out like the girl from the ring? Okay. Um, I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck that was um so we consider it like that right we have that we have the hero type agatha in the green beta is supposed to instead have a balanced team along with one of each evolution which then makes sense as a logical third member right you fought the exotic type you fought the hero type now you have to fight a balanced team that can theoretically counter you well and then lastly of course there is lance which is the dragon type which is basically designed as a boss type um uh, because, right, uh, it resists all of the elemental attacks, which are which are all the elements of your starters, right? Right, the three starters and also Pikachu, and any of the evolutions, and basically all of the elements except for the exotic Deep Sea. Wowee. Um, and so suddenly that makes a lot of sense. I think, in fact, uh, if, to go back to an earlier point, right, we have the Earth element that gets separated into rock and into ground. I think part of that is because they wanted Brock to be, like, an earth type person right because that makes sense but mainly they wanted him to serve as a purpose like you know you can't just fight you can't just spam normal attacks you actually have to use strategy and so i think part of it is so that they designed rock basically to be a boss type um because that way normal potions not super potions that way that makes sense uh that, that, that like forces the player to learn how to use the game systems right um right if you look at onyx like onyx is a fucking shitty pokemon um but as a boss pokemon it works very well because the fact that it has high defense um ensure, ensures that like even if you have even if you like have a full team of six pokemon it will be really hard to brute force it with tackling and scratching um but if you have any sort of elemental attack, right? Back in those days, basically all the elements were special. You would have instantly killed them. You were like, oh, like that's good. I need to use these elemental attacks. And so that makes sense as a, as a boss type. Similarly, Psychic also kind of makes sense as a boss type because, right? Psychic beats like uh, fighting, which is kind of like the hero type, um, if, <laughs> if that makes sense. And so, um, ah, oh, 90 chance miss oh never lucky it, it makes sense because psychic is like these hard and <laughs> like these very hard hitters that also move very quickly and so like psychic kind of i don't know it's it's an interesting type to deal with i think especially like the juxtaposition with the fighting dojo like because fighting is kind of the hero type right um Ooh, your ice? Ice, maybe? Can't quite tell. I would hazard a guess, though, because of the scarf. Haha, -ha, I'm right. Um, right, when you consider the fact that, one, the... Like, <laughs> stuff was supposed to be structured way differently right then, right? Uh, in the beta. Um, because I think you were supposed to fight Psychic. You are supposed to go to Saffron City last, if I remember correctly. Like, the progression is basically the same. You have an extra gym in Viridian, so that you do that first. And then I think you fight Blaine uh, before you fight uh, Sabrina, right? So, because, like, Psychic is supposed to be, like, the boss type. Like, it's, like, the best type. Uh, because it triumphs over heroes. They're all really strong. Like, Alakazam is arguably just, like, the best it's like one of, if not the strongest Pokemon in the game. Certainly one of the strongest Pokemon wielded by an NPC. And like, there's lots of thematic reasons, right? Like, it makes sense to go to Saffron City last because that's Tokyo, that's the big city. That's also where Silphco is, so we have a dramatic showdown with Team Rocket, and then you go and you fight 
uh, saffron. It could also possibly explain some of the weird connections. Like all that weird stuff in the Pokemon anime where Sabrina was supposed to be connected with Team Rocket. Like there might have been some connection there. Um, you know, lots of things that suddenly start to make much more sense if you consider the beta. Um, and things that make, that are, I think, far more interesting if you consider the beta. Uh, because that lets you, because like having that stage versus what we have now really lets you draw some more um, connections to like more traditional RPGs and helps you to kind of analyze this sort of thing. So, flat point being, Right, Psychic is supposed to be basically like one of the boss. It's like Psychic is a boss type. Um, outside of uh, outside of Rock, and arguably arguably Ghost is supposed to be a boss type too because he's just completely immune to tackling. Um, and it also has like lots of like sleep effects and stuff like that. Um, and, and then of course Dragon. Right, Dragon is a boss type. It's not a, it's not an actual type. It's a classification that serves basically to uh, give, right, the one dragon line, like, just to make your dragon stronger, because they have that typing. Um, that being said, uh, I don't know, I feel like you see this a lot less in the newer games, like this more sort of like traditional RPG influence, partially because, right, Pokemon becomes its own thing, and basically kickstarts the entire genre of, like, of uh, like monster collectors or whatever the hell you want to call them, like monster ranchers and battlers and whatnot. Um, our Remoraid should outspeed his Remoraid so we can uh, just get the side beam in and kill him. Uh, well, actually, no, he might kill us because we, <laughs> we're not at full health. Um, we'll see what happens though. Yep, dead. Good. Great job, Jeremy. I appreciate you. But like, like, like I just said, right? Like you can see how Brock is designed to do one thing. You can see how, um, you can see how like Koga is designed to do one thing, right? He, he's specifically designed to use lots of status moves and like minimize and make you figure out how to deal with that sort of different opponent, right? Um, you can see how all these gym leaders are designed with a certain like, not purpose, but like, like they're they're designed to be bosses, not just to have like teams that are strong that can like counter sweep you. But like, I feel like that's an issue that a lot of the Gen like, like I don't know, I don't know like the Gen Four ones, right? Um, those ones, like every single team is basically the same, right? You have these dudes who are type specialists, whatever they do things. Holy shit, Paprika, you need to get out of there. Uh, it's time to. It's time to call in the, the hard carry. Oh my god, if I lose the thing, though. I'm not losing leftovers. I'm sorry. I don't care what you guys fucking think. This is... We are not losing leftovers. <laughs> I don't care how scummy it makes me feel. We are not losing leftovers. Ah. <sighs> Okay, Let's dig, try to, you know, kill him in one shot if we can, dodge all the thieves and whatnot. Right. What was I talking about? But yeah, you know, okay, so like, look at, like, uh, the first, the first gym leader, I forget what his name is, like, Rock Guy, Roark, or Rory, or whatever the hell, right? Um, he has a Geodude and a Cranidus, they just do the same thing, they hit you hard. Kind of, it serves kind of the same purpose as Brock, like, it's to teach you that, you know, you can't just tackle everything, but... I think it does it far less elegantly without the boss design of um, of uh, Onyx. Now, and then the second one is Gardenia. Grass type, ooh, maybe she'll use like powder moves. No, she just like kills you with Roserade because Roserade is very strong. All right, uh, what's the third boss? Third boss is, uh, I'm going to go with Platinum Ordering. Third boss is the Ghost Lady who kind of does something just by nature of using Ghost, but she just has sweepers, right? She spams Shadow Ball and, and Shadow Claw and kills you. Then there's uh, Maylene, right, who spams Aura Sphere and kills you. Then there's the water guy who just spams fucking Brian or whatever water moves he has and kills you. 
The password is Hail Giovanni. Okay, thanks, buddy. Then there's the, uh, what am I thinking of? Right, there's the, uh, for some reason I thought the rocket base was a lot longer than it actually is. Holy cow, this has been very short. Uh, everyone else is fine, we can give a potion too. One more potion. Paprika, there we go. Um, uh, six gym leader, who's steel guy. Ooh, maybe this is different, like maybe he does some weird steel stall strategy. I mean, kind of, because he has... I forget he has a bronze on, but he has a Bastiodon, like that's kind of tanky, but like you, I guess he, he uses like iron defense, but it's, it's not like the same, like having a completely different strategy, like, um, yeah, it's not the same as having a completely different strategy, like, uh, Koga or like having the specific boss design of someone like Brock. And so like, I feel like it really suffers from it. Um, and of course Gen 1 has this too, like I think that Misty and Lieutenant Surge and possibly Erica, it's hard to say given that we don't know what her actual gym fight would have been like. Um, Blaine definitely feels the same, um, where they're just all kind of like, they, they just, sp they just use strong moves and kill you. Hey, oh Giovanni! Hold it right there. Is that you? Oh, no, it's a girl. We can't have a bright like you on the loose. It's harmful to Team Rocket's pride. However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. Whoa, don't say that to a 12-year-old girl. Sorry, baby. Now get ready to be thrashed. Really don't say that to a 12-year-old girl. Uh, hey, don't be so selfish. Spread the fun around. Okay, Lance. Spread the fun around. Get an accomplice. What is your sense of honor? You're the ones going around stealing shit. As the interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Or maybe that was the girl. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'll say that was the dude up there. Hey there, Rocket exec. <laughs> Man, they really had to... <laughs> the uniform is like, oh, maybe... Oh, it's just like a weird, like, kind of, like, dress thing. Whatever. It's just like, oh, nope, we gotta get that triangle of midriff in there. <laughs> right. Oh, you look fun. It's a good thing that you're still so low level. In any case. Yeah, so I... I don't know. I really like... Like, I, I don't know. I, I have a lot of problems with Gen 1 design. Because there are a lot of ways that it's very, very clumsy and very poorly done. But I like how it... Like, you can see the context much more easily from more, like, traditional... Um, what do you call it? From like more traditional RPGs and like you can see the inspiration and I think some of it works well because you know like there's a reason why some of these ideas of like designing a boss to be a boss and to force your players to do to learn all the game mechanics like that's that's a staple now of RPG boss design because it's a good design. Um, this person is so fucking weak that I don't care about um, I don't care about switching like they're not going to win. For Pokemon, are in, they're in the low 20s. Right, if I really wanted, I could just cheese every single one using Popo. But in any case. In any case, those are my thoughts. Um, admittedly, of course, there are some things that I think are good, like designing Onyx, like while I praise it as being a really good boss design, it is a completely shit design for a Pokemon. Like, And I feel like there was a middle ground that existed that you could have used to one have onyx have that stupidly high defense but but lower special that makes sense but also give it an attack set that doesn't suck ass as well as possibly a slightly better health right um so that you know when you find an onyx you don't feel immediately disappointed by how fucking useless it is um because i don't think you can find onyx right in the wild until rock tunnel at least that's what, because I'm, I'm like 90% sure you cannot find Onyx in Mount Moon. And I can't think of any other place where you would find it outside of there or some real late game areas. At which point, yeah, Onyx is definitely fucking useless. At the same time, uh... Actually, now that I think about it, this is more common than I thought, but... 
I really like the uh, Snorlax design in that it's like an obstacle that you have to break, but it's also a Pokemon. So that, like, you know, you break the obstacle, you have to fight, and then you can catch it. I was trying to say, like, it, uh, you could become an executive. Maybe I will if you pay me enough. This hideout is done for. That's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You will come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> that did it. We defeated all of the rockets here. But I am concerned about the young guy I battled in the process. Sorry, Amanda. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. <laughs> Thanks, Lance. Now all there is left to do is to turn off that odd radio signal. This is where we have to make the ultimate sacrifice. It's this machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That should stop this machine from transmitting the signal. It's no fault of the Pokemon, so it makes me feel guilty. Let's split the job. Well, sorry buddies. This is how it has to happen. Sorry, Electrode. Are you level 30 or 24? I think you're 24. Oh god, that's right. I forgot the Electrodes were meteors in this game. <laughs> Alright. We can, like, raise a leaf from them. Unless he's flying type. Which, I guess he should be, but also not. But yeah. Those are my thoughts on RPG design and Generation 1. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I kind of just talked at you there, but I guess it's better than me just like kind of drunkenly just going like, mm, good job, Bertha. You, you hit that. You hit him. You hit him good. But, you know, fuck you. You're getting the crit. I don't, I don't like you. <laughs> I feel like this is at least marginally more engaging. Um, so. I was going to just want Aurora being him. I wonder when you get Voltorb. Maybe I've already missed him. Maybe, I, I mean, I assume that you get him at Mount Moon, right? Because that's where meteors and shit land. Um, oh, wait, I was talking about something else, though. I was talking about uh, uh, Pokemon, like, in the Oval World and stuff. Right, so we have Snorlax in the first game. You have Pseudowoodo in this game, which I think is kind of cool. Then in Gen 3, you have Kecleon. I think Kecleon works a little bit less... Well, because Snorlax makes sense. It's a it's a big thing in the middle of the road, right? Why are you still up front, Paprika? Bertha should just kill these people. Um, right, I feel like... Snorlax makes sense. Sudowoodle, I guess, kind of makes sense because he's like a tree and it's established that you can't move through trees, so it makes sense. Like, Heckland, I think, is a little bit weaker. But at the same time, I think that the fact that, like, it's invisible because it's a Kecleon, because the... Uh, chameleon and you don't really know what's going on i think that's kind of cool like the first time that you see it right you're like what the fuck is going on here you get the the self scope or whatever and then you go to deal with him and then suddenly it's revealed oh it's a it's a chameleon Ooh, like like i i think it's a i think it's a nice touch that's just me though um but I can't really, I don't really, I can't really think about anything like that in Gen 4. Like, there were the Psyduck that were blocking the road, but again, that's not, a, I feel like that's not as good of an explanation. It's not particularly original, right? They're just sitting there because they, because their fucking head hurts, right? And that's just kind of uninteresting. And I don't think you really see it in many of the newer games after that. Though, I could be wrong, right? I haven't played Gen 5 in a while, I haven't played Gen 6 in a while, nor Gen 7. So... Who knows, maybe it's all there and I'm just selectively remembering the games that I've played the most of. But in any case, those are my thoughts. Alright. Have you done your part, Lance? Have we destroyed the meteors that were powering this thing? Now that I think about it, it makes no sense that Electrode... <laughs> like, maybe, maybe it would make more sense if, like, Slowpoke were powering it, or, like, I don't know, fucking Wigglytuff, but... <laughs> You're the hero. Let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon that we just killed. And I got that, which I think is Whirlpool or whatever. 
Right, Whirlpool, yep, nope, that's useless. Keep this in mind, you could use that outside of battle only with the badge from Mahogany. Amanda, the journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. No, you're right, if you would give up that easily, you would have never chased the dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Sorry, I... I, I, I have not committed to a voice for Lance, and I apologize for that. He'll be he'll be Christopher Walken Light, so don't worry. All right. Yay! We did Rocket Hideout and Lake of Rage. Um. Yes, please heal me. And we didn't even have to go outside once. That I feel good about. Yay! That's why we got all those potions and super potions. Alright. That being said, my voice is kind of tired. Uh, this might just be a shorter episode because of all the cuts, but I I do not know. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how long each piece is because I actually like stopped recording to deal with my stuff because it's just, it's just easier to splice it like that, you know? Um, that being said... We could have a quick look at um, at Mogany Gym, just to see like what the levels are like, to see if we can fight this one first, or if they're actually so easy that we can just do this. Check out my parallel turn. Are you a skier? Even though there are no. Now this doesn't make any sense. Why are these guys skiers when one their gym has ice, not snow, and two. There are no icy mountains. There's ice cave, but that's not an icy mountain. <laughs> right? You can't ski in ice cave because there's ice everywhere. There's no snow. Skiers made sense in Gen 4 because there is this whole snowy mountain area where you would conceivably ski. But that doesn't apply. I guess that your fire ice... And you buy... How my ember is not killing you right now. And so accordingly, I will switch over to Steve. Steve will be able to defeat you easily. Um, okay, so the gym trainer's got Arcanine Level 20, which is pretty strong. Oh, we, have, we would have... Probably Yeti Smoochum, right? That would make sense. Um, I'm trying to think what else would be there. Ooh, your speed fell. Oh, we outspeed you. Oh, suck it. Ho oh. ho. Good job, Steve. Okay, you have one level 28 as your gym trainer. Hey, you're probably like of a similar level to Chuck. So, eh. Eh, okay, we can, we'll do this, and then we'll call it a day. We'll be, we'll be, um, what's this? Uh, actually, no, I don't want to do that, because I kind of want to grind Jeremy first, you know? You know? Like, he's still not u at a state where he's useful, because, holy shit, he's a glass cannon. I mean, he hits pretty nice, he hits, well, actually, no, he hits kind of sucky, because he's, his attack is still low. But like... I don't know, I wanna grind up Jeremy first. Get Paprika to level 31 too, maybe. So I think, yeah, no, we'll, we'll call it here. I've given you a little taste of Mahogany Gym and... But we did like Lake of Rage and the uh... And the Rocket Hideout, that, take, that took a little... It took a fair amount of time, right? It's not like you guys will be starved for content, because you'll have two episodes to chew through. Um, yeah, I just hope this isn't terribly short. Because <laughs> uh, of all the cuts, but meh. It's probably fine. Alright, so I think I'm going to cut it off here. Oh, never mind, we're going to get called by Dana first. How are your Pokemon doing? Oh, so close. Oh, oh, Dana. I don't care, just let me know when you get another Thunderstone from one of your boyfriends. 
right? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like the, the like two like connection removed gold digger where she she's getting presents from boys and then I'm only friends with her because I'm I'm digging her the gold that she's unintentionally digging, <laughs> right? Whatever. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm gonna stop talking about that. So, uh, again, thank you guys uh, much for watching. Uh, hopefully we get all those cuts in a way that makes sense. And hopefully you guys have a good day. I hope you do. I hope you found at least anything of what I said about the early design of Pokemon useful or interesting. So, again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.